Hold up. I clicked the Buffalo Wild Wings ad on the side. And I'm in F11, so I got to All right. Now I'm ready. What's shaking, Chewy Nation? Chewbacca here back with a new series on Madden 17. Ready for Madden 18, but we have a great idea. At least I think it was a good idea. Uh, we have a guest on the channel, your favorite guest. We have TT23. How is it going? Uh, so yeah, if you notice, I'm wearing the same clothes as when I lost my game to Chewy, assuming you guys have seen that. I'm not doing the greatest. It is yeah. the same day. It's roughly an hour after that just happened, and uh, I'm pretty so salty. If you if you haven't already, go check out his channel. It will probably be when this goes up. It might be the most recent video. It's going to be one of the last couple. So make sure to check out his channel and also that video against it. That was a it was a great game. It was a good game. It was it was a great game. Yeah. So make sure to check it out. It was full of exciting plays. So this is as you can tell from the title and from the screens that we have. We are doing an all-time Mutt team. We are trying to build the best team possible in Mutt draft style. So basically what's going to happen is, hopefully I explain this well, my guest will go first since he's the guest. He will pick the best player he thinks in Mutt or maybe not the best player, but maybe he thinks the most valuable at his position mm -hmm. or uh, like I believe, uh, we've, we've talked about this, I believe Cam Newton is the best quarterback in the in. Mm -hmm. And Mutt, but the drop off to Aaron Rodgers is not really that much. And also, if I take Cam Newton, he's not going to draft Aaron Rodgers till the last pick, so it get, makes it easier. So you got to think about that. It's definitely it's definitely got some challenges. And whoever is victorious, and how do we determine who's victorious? You guys will determine who is victorious. So in the comments, let us know who has the best team after we're done. Obviously, wait till the end of the video. Don't just vote now. So leave a comment, TT23, or myself, Chewbacca Lemma, who has the best Mutt team. Not real life, the best team in uh -huh. Mutt. If you wanted the best team, whose team is better, the winner gets 100K. Are you ready? Uh, I think I'm ready. Yeah, just saying we're drafting one of each position. One All of right. each position yep. that's on screen. Um, defensively, again, what are we doing? Are we doing 3-4 or 4-3 defenses? Um, I was thinking 4-3, but on Mutthead, as you see me scrolling down, they have two yeah. defense tackles. You run a 4-3, and I think I generally run a 4-3. Are right, you still running a 4-3? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, we'll yeah. just go 4-3. We'll go 4-3. Okay. That's uh, perfectly fine. So, you can start people out of position, too, if you want. If they're allowed to play that position, yeah. you can start them. So out, we're so. just trying to build the best team possible, and uh -huh. but we don't... We got a draft, so he gets the first pick because he is the guest, and I think this will make more sense as we go through the draft if I did a terrible job explaining it, so... TT23, are you ready? You are I am ready. on the clock. I'm on the clock. It's going yep. to take about two seconds because the first pick, I'm going to the halfback position. It is Ezekiel Elliott. It is very clear with this pick. The drop-off from him to the next best running backs is so much. I have to take Zeke, someone to get the ball on the ground with the stacked O-line. That's what we're going with as our first overall pick. Ezekiel Elliott, I would agree, is the best running back in the in the game. So it's now really it's a lot easier. You, he knew he was going to have the first pick. Mm -hmm. I have to I have to now adjust and be like, all right. So now I'm not going to draft a running back because he just took a running back. I'm actually going to scroll over to wide receiver. There's not there is definitely a tier. You get two one. picks in a row, by the way. So okay, I'm going to go ahead and take Des Bryant. For my first pick in the draft, that card is like absolutely disgusting. And for my second pick in the draft, I'm going to take another wide receiver, ultimate ticket, Randy no. Moss. <laughs> no! Those are my two wide receivers. That's what I want. I've got mobile blocker chemmed out for him! Uh, if, I didn't say this, but we did just put in the all blockbusters because I know you guys don't want to see us draft a bunch of offense alignment. So, uh, especially in month seventeen when they're not that important. But all right, this just got tough already. All right, so I'm gonna head. I need wideouts. I really do. I know he, he actually only has one wide receiver slot left, but I feel like it's still important that I get who I believe is a top three wideout in the game, no question. So I'm gonna take Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. with yeah. Uh, with my first or with my next pick. I would consider going Mike Evans. I know you're going with him for your third wideout, either him or Hopkins. So I'm just going to let that go. You can have whoever. I'm going to go away from wideouts. I need a corner to lock everybody up. I'm going to go with who I believe I believe is the best corner in the game. And I feel kind of sad saying I really want to go Xavier. I'm going to go ultimate ticket Deion Sanders, though. Ultimate ticket Deion is indeed, I think, the best corner in the game. I was between two corners, and I'm going to go ahead and take. Uh, so he just went ahead and took off... Uh, OBJ and Deion Sanders. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a corner myself. 
I believe there this is like a one A and one B. Yeah. In my opinion, I hope we're under the on the same page when I say this. I am taking ultimate ticket, night train lane, mm -hmm. for my corner one. Um, I'm gonna maybe keep this trend going. Do I take a wide? See, this is where it gets tricky because we can't plan ahead. Like we don't know what who they're gonna take. So I gotta I gotta start thinking. I think I'm going to take another corner. And this is okay. So I can't take Jalen Ramsey. He's not in the game yet. I I think we're gonna even though he's at the top. Yeah, I'm gonna I'd say agree. I'm gonna say he's he's not. I'm not able to take him. Cause I'd take uh, him in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh man, I was man. That speed is so important. I I know he said that he wasn't gonna take him because Dion is Dion is better. But I actually am gonna go ahead and take him myself. I am going to take Xavier Rhodes. Okay. So I took two corners. Okay. And by the way, I know we didn't even discuss this. So you can't take any other version of Dion. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. 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 We didn't talk about okay. that, but I don't think I think we should just. I think that's one fair. Player, because yeah, that's that fair. makes that makes Dion a lot less valuable. Um, it makes Night Train Lane. You could still go with Night Train Lane and yep. uh, so forth. So only one of each player. You took Xavier, right? Was who you said? Okay. Yep. So because I can't see your screen right now, so that's correct. I just need to go off memory. Um, I'm gonna go with, uh, with who I believe is the best. The best user in the game, and I looked terrible with him last game, but I've got to go with him. Left outside linebacker. I'm going to go Anthony Barr. He would play middle linebacker for me, but I want his chems to, to activate. So I'm going to go with Barr first. And that then, uh, um, I definitely yeah. thought, I, I honestly, he was up there. I, I know there's such a big like wide receivers, corners, but he definitely, I mean, you could argue he could be the first pick in the draft. Yeah, yeah. Anthony Barr is very well, yeah, you could consider him the best card in Ultimate Team. If You could make a great argument for it. So my next pick, I'm going to go very, very under the radar here. Uh, I'm going to go with left end Joey Bosa. Joey Bosa. He would have been my left end. the best end in the game. He's he, the best end in the game. I would have picked jo – Joey Bosa would have been my left end if I was able to uh, – I wouldn't say he's the best end in the game, but oh, it's he's not even the close. best he's left easily end the, the game. best. You're, you're he's tempting me to take a mid right now because I want to show the viewers the that he is not the best end. Um, but – Oh, man, that's so tough. Okay, so he already has a user, so I don't have to worry too much about that. We are running a 4-3. Now, this is where it gets tricky because we said there's only one version. Like, you can't use mm – -hmm. there can only be one player on the field, right? Like, you can't have uh, two – even if it's out of position, yeah. this the card can only be drafted once? Um, If it's out of position, I mean, if he's, like, offense, defense, I'll let you go with it. But, like, Sean Taylor, if you're saying that, no, you can't draft two Sean Taylors. Okay, you can't draft two Sean Taylors. That's why I was asking. That's the same Mutt rule right there. Like, yeah. It's the same rule as in Mutt. Uh, so since we're, we're go running a 4-3, this is actually going to be debatable, and I think I actually might get some hate here. I'm going to go ahead and take mm, Sean T. ultimate ticket yeah. Sean Taylor. It actually is an especially because he is the best free safety in the game. And he's also one of the best left outside linebackers in the game. Yeah. So who do you pick? Which one do you go with? I think you can make the argument for either one. But Sean Taylor, you couldn't go wrong with the free safety. It's just whatever one. I think at a linebacker, I, I'm going to find that much more uh, useful. But uh, I could be wrong. You guys let me know. Should I want free safety? That I want Sean Taylor. But maybe, maybe the free safety one was a better call. But that's who I'm going with. Left outside linebacker, Sean Taylor. Yeah, that's a... Uh... That was a good pick. I was going to go with him, too. Uh, did you did you take both picks, by the way? Oh, was no. That, just one? that was just one, okay. wasn't it? Um, yep. Okay, so now now things are getting a little tricky. You know, I'm going to do it. Very. He, he told me to do it. I'm going to take the best end in the game, and it's not even close. And I'm telling you right now, it's not even close. Who do you know who take, I'm going to take? You're going to take Clowney. Oh, that's actually not for an end. I was going to take – I'm doing what? off the radar. Off the radar. People don't even know this card exists. Okay, they know it exists. Oh, Fadi? Yep. Or whatever right his name is. No. Terrence Fadi for the Miami Dolphins can do everything. What? Are you going to throw him in coverage every play? Maybe. He can do everything. Terrence Put him Fadi. in coverage every play because I'll take an outside linebacker over him. <laughs> At right end. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Bar is better than him. If Dude. I wanted an end in coverage, I'd just put Bar at end. Bar is not no, but well, Bar can yeah, we're better. Bar's got but. all the stats that he has block shedding, like look at them. Bar's way better. Um, I need a really strong cornerback number two, and I'm like getting scared. You're gonna take like who I consider the next best corner, and I think it falls off from there. So I'm getting scared. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take cornerback Akib Talib. Yeah, that's who I was gonna take next. 
Uh, yeah. So that was a good pick. Yeah, uh, and then I've got to go to. Ugh, I'm getting getting into trouble now. I think I'm in a lot of trouble with my lineup because um, you got to go two wide receivers to start. That put me at a huge disadvantage. I felt like um, I'm gonna hold off on wide out. I can get a bunch of good wide outs. Um, I'm gonna go to strong safety. I'm gonna take the best strong safety in the game. Uh, I'm gonna take Paul Cross. Uh, he is he is very good. Uh, thankfully, you didn't take either one of my picks, so thank you. Okay, I, you got I knew it. You, I, I knew you were gonna take Paul Kraus. At least I thought you did. I thought you were gonna take Paul Kraus. I thought you might take him. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take for my next pick. I'm gonna take a free safety. Uh, I I think this is the right call. There's good free safeties, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with it. I'm gonna take ultimate ticket. Ha ha, Clinton Dix at free safety. Um, you not making a noise? You think that was a weird pick? Yeah. Do not yeah. like the ultimate ticket. I can uh-huh. go. I can go with someone just as good as him, like easy. No. I feel like. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my third wide receiver, and I don't know why this guy is not never. He's never on your radar, but I'm taking him. Ultimate ticket, Mike have Evans. Mike Evans. Have have him. <laughs> what you have, Mike Evans? No, I'm saying you can have him. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, you can have him. You filled out your wideouts now. I can fill them in later. I've got guys that are just as good, I feel. Uh, yeah, so free safety is good. I'll just take Eric Berry later. <laughs> I'm going to go with, uh, with the best middle linebacker in the game. It's not even a question. Uh, Luke Keekley. Not even close. Um, he might be the best. He really, honestly, you can make an argument for him best user. I've been using him in Ultimate Team. He's amazing. Jadavion Clowney, Ultimate Ticket at right end. Good luck. Like, <laughs> this card's so good. He's so good. Oh, jeez. He hits every threshold. Like, every threshold, so... We'll be good with him. Um, he is. He is good. Okay, I am really not sure where to go. You got a strong safety, so there's no reason to go there. Um, I mean, th- yeah, I think this is the pick. All right. Um, I need a right outside linebacker. Uh, we are running a four three. I think he's the best four three linebacker in the game. You could make a case that he's right there with who you think, Lawrence Taylor. Um, yeah. Jadavion Clowney, but. I think this is the best overall, and I don't know why I'm in love with the developers, but right now, I, I love you developers. I'm going with Ultimate Ticket, Dante Hightower. Is that right? Dante Hightower? Dante. Yeah, I don't know why I always mess that up. Same with De- Devontae Freeman. I don't know. Um, but Dante Hightower is my right outside linebacker. You don't see it too often because there's not many out there, but... I mean, he's good, but... All right. I'm fine with it. Um... Okay. Go ahead. I'm actually... Oh, I get another pick. Yep. I'm actually comparing him right now to Jadavion Clowney, and at least what they show on Mutt, Dante Hightower is better in just about every stat. Yeah, but Clowney's just play great. Okay. And and Hightower doesn't have the doesn't have the traits that Clowney has in pass rush. I'm yeah, just pass you, rushing Clowney, rushing so... Again. Okay. All right, so I get another pick. I got to take a corner here. Do you have... How many corners do you have? I have two. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and take... Uh, I think this is the move. Uh, there's definitely a couple corners that you could go with here, yeah. uh, even maybe down there. But I'm going to take Josh Norman. That's That was who I wanted to fill in with my number three. And I do have pick specialist and field general going now with that Josh Norman. So I have both of those tiered out. If you want to pick who won, look at look at the chemistries. You know, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Um, so then it's my pick, and I'm going to actually take Bosa, drag him to D-tackle, have fun there. I'm coming in with Lawrence Taylor, starting him at left end. He hits every threshold, too. So, to me, it's going to be tough to, to find better a better end than Lawrence Taylor. Like, that's tough. Like, you can go Von Miller, I guess. That's the only one I think that's in the equation. Um, and I kind of almost want to go, I think Miller's considered a left outside linebacker, but I almost want to go with yeah. Miller at right right now um this is getting really tough this is getting very tough these calls um i know people are probably screaming at their screen right now we're like at what people. i'm doing with my well, draft we're also yeah. missing pe- i'm sure there's people who are missing like when oh, i oh yeah for sure yeah i, I totally like i missed von miller on that pick i can't lie like i thought about it and then i was like i could have taken miller i forgot about hopkins like i did yeah i've got hopkins left and you've taken all your wide outs so i'm just gonna leave my wide outs like, i'll take everything else i gotta go cornerback you already have all three corners oh my goodness wait is watt drafted yet tj watt not tj watt so jj watt is not drafted now. let's go oh this is the best this is the best line in the game so i just took watt watt at d tackle with bosa oh that's the best line in the game all right 
I, it looks so much. It looks better to me. I, I don't. Maybe I don't know Mutt very well, but I think he's better. I think he's better than Von Miller. I'm McGinnis or something. Willie McGinnis. Compare. Uh, I think Willie McGinnis looks better. I'm taking Willie McGinnis at left end, um, out of position. I think I feel pretty good about that. At what areas does he look better? Acceleration, strength. He's better in strength. His stats are pretty. Like what Von Miller is better in. Uh, he has plus two tack, plus plus two block shed, uh, but power move plus eight to Willie McGinnis. And oh, Von Miller has plus two play rec, play rec, but plus six strength to Willie McGinnis and plus five acceleration. They're very close, but I do think I think the Willie McGinnis card is better. This might be a bad call because I've never used this card in this position, but I think anytime you get somebody this good in the middle who's six nine at defensive tackle one, I'm gonna take. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. I don't know. Yeah, if this no, is, it's a good card. Whoops, it's I didn't good mean card. To, I put him in the wrong position. That's what's wrong. I'm gonna take. I've used him. Ed Too Tall Jones Ultimate Legend. Yeah. Uh, for my left, uh, for my defensive tackle one, and I got I messed this all up. And Willie McGinnis at my left. You know, end. he's amazing. I'll give you that. Um, yeah, I'll give you that. My next pick. I'm trying to figure out who I want. I know that people want me to take Shazier because people are in love with Shazier cards for whatever reason. Like he's good, but. Like, I don't get it. I guess I need to take a peek at his stats really quickly. They're probably unbelievable. Um, and if you guys are wondering, not that it's going to be coming soon, but the reason we haven't taken a quarterback is because, or the reason I haven't taken a running back or, or I haven't taken a strong safety is because he already has those positions filled. With a quarterback, we don't think in the same with tight end. I'm thinking, and he's yep. thinking the same thing. There's not a big – one and two is so close, so one, two, three. That's why, obviously, quarterback is really important, but there's a lot of good choices. Yeah, yeah, I completely agree with you there. Because, like, I mean, like, I, we're both going to go Cam Newton, I think. But Aaron Rodgers, if you give me Aaron Rodgers, like, I'm not going to be upset at all. So, anyway, I think I'm going to take Ryan Chazier at right outside linebacker. Um, that man can cover anybody. Like, good luck there. Like, this is the best coverage linebacker core in the game. Did you take Sean Taylor, right? I don't know who else you're going to have to compete with them in coverage. Uh, like, we're in a 4-3 right now. Like, those three I have plus Sean Taylor, like, those are the top four. I guess you have Dante Hightower, he's not bad. That That's a good that's a good three. And then I have one more pick. I still have my corner and my free safety available. I might go onto my offense and uh, and go tight end. I might do it. Okay. Um, I know you strongly think that Gronk is the best tight end in the game. I need a sec. I might go Dallas Clark. They're both amazing. Speed, I know Dallas that. Dallas Clark, he always plays Better. well. 94. Um, so one plus one. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Um, you don't get the run block that you do with Gronk, and I know that people would love that. People are probably like, take Eifert. Eifert doesn't have the spec catch threshold, so Eifert's out of the question for me. You cannot get that spec catch threshold with Eifert. So you can't get better animations that you can get with Gronk and you can get with Clark. Um, I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go wild. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go wild. Um... Where are you? I'm going to take... I'm going to do it. I'm going to take a tight end ultimate ticket Jimmy Graham. Ultimate ticket Jimmy Graham. Okay, I I don't see that. I, I don't see him He comes doing... out my defense. He comes out my defense. Okay, I, my for my first uh, my first selection, I think this isn't that close. I There could be a discussion. I need a middle linebacker. At this point, um, I guess you, you have all your linebackers filled, don't you? Yeah, I have everything in my front seven filled. Okay, so I'm actually... Goonie. I actually think I'm going to pass there. I'm going to go ahead because there's... This position hasn't been filled yet by either side. I think this is the only... This is the obvious pick. Though it's not a, it's not a no, big difference uh, between the first two. I think it's the best quarterback in the game. Okay. Cam Newton uh, for my first pick. And then it doesn't matter because I think all these other positions are filled. Like, we have to just fill with who's... So it doesn't really matter who I go with um, at all here. Um, were we even putting in a fullback? Yeah. Oh, we're putting in a fullback. So There's maybe, a starter out there. So I guess I'll go with a fullback. I don't even know who the best fullback is. Go um, with a fullback. <laughs> I got to believe this is the best fullback. I'm just doing it. I'm going to go with – I could be way off, but I'm going to go with Mike Tolbert at fullback. Okay, so you locked it. So I'm really confused why you took a fullback. That's my confusion. I thought you said we were taking a fullback. Oh, you mean you could put a running back? I'm there. taking a tight end. <laughs> That's so garbage. That's garbage. And he's, you, I, we're playing mutt. Okay, I'll just run. Okay, okay, okay. 
I, I, that, I'm that, taking Gronk or Eifert. That, it's a good call. Yeah. I, I, I honestly was thinking you couldn't take another tight end. See, that's my not my knowledge. Has, uh, I wasn't even thinking a tight end would work for fullback. I mean, yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take tight end at fullback. Like, you can do the same thing on defense, halfback. so, yeah. Yeah, because we're doing that on defense. Like, that's why I was saying, like, what's the issue with doing it on offense if you can start them there? Um, like, I'm not going to get Ezekiel Elliott at wide receiver, like, and then I could really cheese with, like, multiple halfbacks and stuff, but, like, I'd lose a wide out. To me, I yeah. think going fullback, like, I mean, you haven't taken a tight end yet, have you? I have not. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd go tight end. I could go halfback also and take away from you. Um, that's a really tough call. I've noticed I've taken a longer time than you. I've taken longer time on my picks, I think, than you have. But I'm just going to go then to... You have a free safety, don't you? I do, yeah. I have to go fullback then. Um, I know you said Gronk's the best in the game, so I think I need to I need to take him from you. Yeah, I'm going to take Gronk. I've got one more pick. Mm-hmm. At this point, I don't think we take away anything from each other. What do you have left? Do you have a strong safety? Yeah, I saw you a strong safety. Okay. I'm going to take uh, Eric Berry. Eric Berry or Mike Barry? Evans. Oh, you don't have a free safety yet? No. You can go Eric Berry or Mike Evans. Who's better? Uh, to the people watching this, who's better, Eric Berry or Mike Evans? I don't know. That's so close. Like you're talking six foot five versus six foot. I'm gonna go. I'll go Barry. I'm gonna go Barry here. Yeah. So I'm. I'm good. You good? Yep. All right. I know you said you wouldn't do this, so I'm not taking away from anything from you. Uh, actually, I think you already have your front seven done, so it doesn't really matter. I do. Yep. Um, but I think I'm gonna do this, and this. It looks good. I'm gonna go ahead. I, you might disagree with this. I'm going to go ahead and take – they always play well for me. Uh, at defensive tackle, I'm going to go ahead and take Damon Harrison blockbuster card. Uh, they always, always played well, and I think many of you guys would agree. I don't know if it's a good call at defense tackle too, but I'm, I'm yeah. happy with that. It worries me I can't put him in a spy. That's my biggest worry. He's too slow. You um, can't put him in coverage ever. Uh, yeah, and at middle linebacker, I was going to pick him, and I did it earlier, but I'm going to take him now. Uh, because I was thinking I, I could take a full, I had to take a fullback. Why? I honestly, if it wasn't for you, I probably would be putting people in position. I wouldn't even thought about that. Uh, let's go ahead and take ultimate ticket, Brian Erlacher. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. I okay. The pick's locked. I was gonna say take ultimate ticket Gronk, and then you can start him at tight end. Ooh, also, that, yeah, that would be interesting. I, I, yeah, I missed out on that. I felt like, but I mean, I got my tight end at fullback. Yeah. So I was going to say you could get your extra tight end that way too. Because that card's pretty good. He's not the greatest tight end in the game, but he's pretty good. He's okay. Yeah. Definitely, like, you can you can work with him. Um, so at this point, I think we've taken everything from each other. It's just a point of filling in our positions. So uh, you've taken both picks, right? Yeah, I got. I just got, I got three positions left, I think. Okay. I have cornerback left, and uh, I just need someone with pick specialist, someone pretty decent. Um Probably going to go DRC because those cards play so well. Uh, Mel Blunt doesn't have... Ooh, Mel Blunt doesn't have pick specialist. That puts me in trouble. That's someone I'd like. Wow, really? People don't have pick specialist on their ultimate ticket corners. Wow. Why didn't anyone put pick specialist on I got six Swan? players getting pick specialists. Yeah, I'm missing one pick specialist to come to cam out a ton of people. Um, and I need that. So to me, it's really important to take. I wish, I think I made a bad call on getting to this point and not having an extra pick specialist. But um, I'm just going to, I'm literally going to go to the chemistry and click it in there because I need it. So this is my last position. I can get it, right? I think it is. Um, ooh, I forgot about these rookie premiere cards. Eh, they're okay. I don't think they're that great. I'm going to go with uh, with Dominique Rogers Cromarty. I'm going to do it. So, DRC coming off the edge, probably a nickel. Put him in coverage if I need to. That was, He's amazing. That was who I would have said would have been my pick if I didn't need another corner. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Ch- Champ Bailey's amazing, too. Fully come. Champ Bailey's, like, amazing, too. But All right. So, uh, let's see what we want to do here. It doesn't really matter. I got a running back, strong safety, and tight end left uh, because I actually follow just the positions on offense, unlike TT over there. But uh, what do I see? This is tough now 
Okay, so you've taken Jimmy Graham and Rob Gronkowski, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my obvious pick is it's, it's between Eifert and Clark. Uh, you could argue Gilmore as well, uh, but... Yeah, Clark and Eifert are both amazing. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to go with Clark. I'm not going to – sorry, developer. I'm not going to take the Crockett Gilmore. Though it's unique, yeah. it's worth $2 million somehow. Nobody's buying that card at $2 mil. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Bringing t- coins into this. I love it. I'm going to take Dallas Clark at tight end. So I don't feel like I'm okay. too far behind, even though I would have liked to have Clark. Clark's amazing. Clark's amazing. Um, and maybe Mike Tolbert wasn't the best. But you know what? My wide receiver core is fine. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and take a running back. doesn't really matter at this point. It, I really – Let's be honest, there is such a big drop-off from Elliot to the next person, and then the next people are so cl- they're so close that I don't think there's a big jump. But I've played with this card, so I know it's good. I had a lot of success. He does everything well. I'm going to go with Ricky Williams, Ultimate yeah, Legend. Good call. Good call. I like that. Good call. Um, I'm stuck in a tough spot now. I think there are a lot of people that I can take at wide receiver. Uh, cause that's, I think I only have wide receiver left to fill, right, guys? Um, and qu- quarterback, too. So I'm going to take my two wide receivers here, and then I'll make my quarterback decision last. Um, okay, so i got to go Hopkins. I'll lock that. And then the last one is going to be between, I think, uh, Marvin Harrison and um, Tyreek Hill. I don't want to go with an ultimate ticket because none of them have good traits. None of them. Demarius Thomas doesn't make sideline catches. Like, <laughs> if I can't throw to the sidelines, like, oh, like, it's, oh, like, I, you lose so much. Like, you have you seen, like, like look at the catch Braxton Miller even got for you last game. Because he makes sideline catches. That was pretty. Um, so my last pick. I'm going to go with, oh, whoa. Okay, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to go with, uh, <laughs> Marvin or Tyreek? Marvin or Tyreek? I'm going to go with Marvin. Marvin Harrison? Yep. Okay, uh, so I just have strong safety, and I'm going to tell you right now, I think that you know what you – I know who you would pick. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I, I take can't. Evans. I can't t- – wait, can I take them if they play on both sides of the field? You said yeah. that's fine. Okay. Yeah, perfectly Because that's okay in Mutt. You're right. Okay, yep. so – the, the, there's two there's two cards here that I'm going between. I'm thinking Evans is the move. I'm gonna go with Evans on both sides. But ultimate ticket, Loyal Malloy. That looks good. It looks good. He's got tip drill as does Tiny Mike no Evans. hands. He he's he's six foot. I think that's what that's what I'm looking at too, six foot. Tiny so, without hands. I think I think it is uh, I think if you just look at the stats overall, uh, if you ignore height uh, Molloy's got the advantage in most of them, but Mike Evans is going to catch everything, and you don't have to worry about that. Plus, he has field general going to up that speed. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm getting inside blitzer, but uh, to get that speed up one more. Oh, yeah. I'm one away. Um, I can put a coach in there. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm taking uh, Del Rio. I, just kidding. I have Jack Del Rio. I've already drafted him. Uh, Jack oh, okay. Del Rio is my coach. <laughs> but, uh, all right, and then you just got your last pick. Yeah, I think I do. Um, so my last pick is going to be at quarterback. I'm going to take um, – I'm going to take 62 overall, Connor Shaw. Right. Yeah, I did it. I plugged him in. 62 overall, Connor Shaw. Yes. That's going to be – Have you looked at his stats? I'll look at him right now. 80 speed, 55 awareness, 77 throw power. 77 throw power. Is that the quarterback so you were using? He's a glitch. No, I used wow. Gerard Johnson. He's just as glitchy. I drafted throw. Aaron Rodgers already. Yeah, I figured so. Okay. I think uh, that's it. Oh, boy. I should have shown the comparison between Connor Shaw and uh, to <laughs> a little bit better and everything. But if, All we, right. if we look at Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is better at Cam Newton and everything besides speed. And, and truck. And truck. And getting, carrying. Carrying, yeah. Uh, Night Train Lane, if you compare, which, not that you would, there are a little bit different types of players, but Night Train Lane does get to 98 speed with those Kims. Uh, so his speed is not going to be an issue, but Dion's got the catching. 
Uh, he can also has a little bit, not quite Night Train block shed, but Night Train has 99 power. Yeah, so. the Night, Night Train's great with block. I think Night Train's like 90 something block shed yeah. though. Like that's the but only area that I'd say Night 90s. Train, Night Train, Night Train. Yeah. And but like for me, in coverage, Dion's gonna be a million times better because Dion gets those one-handed animations that like are outstanding. Uh, you remember that animation that Kareem Jackson got? That no, I don't awesome. even know what you're talking. My <laughs> footage corrupted. Okay, Akib Talib. <laughs> And then Dominique Rogers Camardi, yeah, you beat me. I'd say Talib and Rhodes, you can probably put equal, and then Rogers Camardi compared to Josh who? Norman. Yeah, Norman. Norman's gonna beat him. So I don't know. I think that the corners are actually closer than than we made seem, but I, I I'd give you the edge. I'd take your cornerbacks over mine. I think this is good. I think they're really even. I guess it's up to the comments to decide who wins the hundred k. Yeah, I, I Chewy feel, subscribers, please be nice to me. I, I feel like it's actually really close. The one thing, if if you wouldn't have got me on that fullback thing, I would. I think that I would. I think that I. I well, of course, in my opinion, I'm gonna think I have. I would think I easily have the best team. But I think the fullback, you getting two great tight ends, is definitely pretty big. I mean, I've got I. Uh, to me, I every area we argued like. The only one I'm get the only ones I'm giving you I'm giving you wide receivers and, and corners corners <laughs> barely the two barely most oh and quarterback so barely. I have a better quarterback quarterback better wide receivers, you can and have corners, you, I gave guess you what? Cam Newton. I got the better team but I gave you Cam Newton we talked about that was like a decision like you can have him like I was gonna like let him go because I like A Rod yeah when you said he he can't throw low pa- uh, high passes but you like A-Rod. neither can Cam you know I've heard that about Cam I they have I, gunslinger. I have really, Gunslinger, yeah. you can't throw like high That's, passes. See, I haven't. Maybe I'm just. I don't throw a whole lot of high passes. He's done what I needed yeah. to when I had it. But uh, running back, obviously. I don't know. We've talked so much about this, way more than I think we anticipated. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so so make sure you guys let us know who won TT two three or Chewbacca Lemma. Uh, so let let us know down in the, the down in the the, the, the the comments. There we go. Down in the comments down below. Who won? Of course, I, I'm pretty sure I won, but maybe some miracle TT won. Uh, anything else you want to say here? Um, well, I've been known to pull off. In our matchups, upsets have happened every time. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? Go. So maybe this know. time, maybe. the one time we think it might be even, maybe they'll tie. I don't even know. Don't Please know. comments, vote TT23. Yeah. Please comment. Also, make sure to check out his channel because you know what? We're doing one just like this, except a, a different type of one over on his channel. So mm-hmm. make sure to go over there and subscribe to T2, T, 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 I don't even know his name. So that's all I got. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are absolutely incredible. Chewbacca Lemma and TT23.